I wish to speak without reading, but I'm very uh, worried that I may make mistake today. And today's mistake can be remembered forever. So I'm going to read. Uh, on behalf of College of Journalism and Mass Communication and Nepal Africa Film Festival, NAP, I would like to welcome you all to our newly completed Adim Media House. Today we are going to inaugurate Adim Media House without Adim. To, today, in this very historic occasion, I want to go in brief and recall almost 20 years of struggle in growing this college. It was on January 2001 that I founded College of Journalism and Mass Communication, CJMC, with merely $2,050. And here we stand today overcoming all the obstacles that stood in our way, able to say with confidence that yes, we made, a, we made a history in the media education of Nepal. We established ourselves as a leading media academic institution and you CGMCs should be proud that you are the CGMC students. <clears throat> Being the first private college to start courses at master's level in mass communication and journalism, master's in development communication and bachelor's in mass communication and journalism. And in December 2006, we received license from Ministry of Information and Communication to start our own FM station, CJMC FM, which is the first college-run FM station in this country. Then only the other colleges started. So that was the first college-run FM station, which will be placed next year in this building. 15 years ago, we applied for a private me private media university with the Ministry of Education under Communication University of Nepal, CU Nepal. Till date, due to instability throughout these years, we have not been able to get it approved. We have been persistently pushing to get the University Umbrella Act passed. We are certain this crucial bill will facilitate in bringing drastic change in journalism education in Nepal. CU Nepal has met all necessary prerequisites you can see in front of you. The government has given approval for two and a half story building as a university, but you can see how our building looks and what is our infrastructure. If approved by our government, CU Nepal will be the first media, media university in Nepal and first to be headed by a woman. At present, there are 24 applicants for university, private universities. In the Ministry of Education, CU Nepal is the only university led by a woman. I am hopeful that the current government, headed by Right Honorable Prime Minister K.P. Sarma Oli and his minister team, will pass the bill that will mandate private universities in Nepal. We must value the need for private universities here in Nepal by observing the role they have played in the advancement of culture and economy all over Europe and America. I would like to focus that there are private universities in India, in Bangladesh, in China, and in Pakistan. But our democratic country, which we just claim that we are a democratic country, has not yet given us right to open and establish private university. So the government only cannot give quality education. They must open the door for private universities in Nepal. I remember when Kathmandu University started with just 22 students in the beginning with very little infrastructure. Our former Vice Chancellor of Kathmandu University, the role model for Nepali education and all the educators is present here. Today, it has grown to be a renowned university here in Nepal and in the world as well as all because of the determination and commitment of Dr. Suresh Raj Sarma, the Vice Chancellor of KU. He serves as a role model for academics, bureaucrats, and for all for Nepalis. I reference Kathmandu University here because I see many parallels between CJMC and Kathmandu University in its early days. On this day, I wish to acknowledge everyone who were a part of CJMC's growth. CJMC has had many international collaborations and partnerships Throughout these, throughout these years, in collaboration with Oslo University, Dhaka University, 
Punjab University in Pakistan, who started regional masters in journalism. 13 students have graduated from this collaboration on the full NOMA scholarship. Till this date, we have 70 students and faculty that have gone abroad for media education and training under various partnerships and programs. Not even a single government college has ever provided so many scholarships to, the, to their citizens of Nepal, but CGMC has done it, so you need to be proud for this. Whether it is a private or public, it does not value, but the result ultimately counts, and that result-oriented work has been able to be done by CGMC. Communication University of China has been part of CGMC's development, since 2003. Uh, here is the writer of my biography book, Joan Fu, the professor of Communication University of China. She wrote a biography about me and she thought I should be nominated from Nepal and published a big biography. So Communication University of China published a biography among the 200 women in the world. Uh, in, uh, in 2014, CUC donated 20 laptops, printers, cameras, and many expensive equipments for our audiovisual and computer laboratory. Entire team of the college sincerely thanks Communication University of China, and we look forward to strengthening this partnership. Our partners in Zambia, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda are also to be thanked for including us in their Africa partnership. During our four years partnership, I always felt I was from Africa. Sometimes I feel I am from Africa. And it happened due to your love and respect for me. We had an opportunity to welcome and work with many journalists from these countries. Amina Molel, who stayed and worked in CGMC, is now the member of the parliament in Tanzania. Because all of your help, we were able to initiate Nepal Africa Film Festival with the theme Africa Through African Lens. This theme will never be changed because whenever I travel in Africa, they ask me, are you from India? So Nepal through Nepalese Lens, Africa Through African Lens. With regards to Nepal Africa Film Festival, Embassy of Egypt has been very supportive from the very beginning by providing us with good quality African films. We recently signed a MOU for cultural exchange with the festival director, Luxor Film Festival in Egypt. Uh, she is present here, please stand up. Yeah. In 2001, Embassy of Denmark funded two female students to study in our college. This marked the one set of many partnerships that we have been able to force in the following years. I sincerely thank the Embassy of Denmark for all the support and encouragement. Similarly, the Asia Foundation was generous to provide books to our library in the initial phase of the establishment of the college. Even if he is not here today, I thank Robert Carr, former director of Asia Foundation, for supporting CGMC and encouraging me to pursue my dreams. CGMC would like to acknowledge UNESCO Nepal for providing books to our library and providing uh, providing training opportunity for our staff in Malaysia in 2004. I express my sincere thanks to Professor London, former chairperson of Frediscope Set Norway, who helped CGMC to enter Frediscope Set South Partnership. This is how CGMC entered Trick Pictures Library Partnership, which provided many valuable learning opportunities for our students and faculties abroad. I also thank Dr. Saidul Alam, who is recently freed from the jail in Bangladesh. We are very happy that he is freed, and he is a world-renowned photographer, and he was our partner many years before. So I thank Dr. Saidul Alam. I thank Professor Christine. Where is Professor Christine? and Professor Thore from the bottom of my heart, who trusted CGMC and included us in the NORA partnership. Professor Kistin, you, miss, you mean so much for CGMC. The words cannot explain how, express how Oslo Met University colleagues are close to CGMC and how much we love you. These are different things. I would like to heartily thank NORA especially Jenny De Silva, for your trust on us, and we look forward to nurturing this trust future. I also express my in-depthness to our partners in Africa from Makarere University, Makarere and University of South Sudan, Juba, for 
working together in the NORA Partnership Project. I am very grateful to Professor William. Where is William? Please stand up for your continuous support and keeping cool even when I was so harsh with you. Yeah, William, you are such a nice gentleman. Yeah, whenever we did make mistakes, Professor William was there to guide us always with patience. I personally, uh, CJMC took his first step with the Himalayan Healing Center from where I was given free working space, free access to internet and free telephone calls. These days, nobody can provide such uh, facilities to a person who does not pay for their office. For this unconditional assistance, I take this opportunity to thank Consulate of Mongolia to Nepal, Chetan Guruman Sresta from the bottom of my heart, and Tandin Dorji Lama of Himalayan Healing Center. Because that was the time when Manju Mr. Dint had uh, repeat even to have a good coffee. I personally thank Bharadatta Koirala who continuously advised me in its stage, initial stage. He is the first Magasese Award winner journalist in Nepal. Sri Ram Singh Basnet Arjun and Arjun Bista of Media Point always gave their valuable time and support during the establishment of this college. Likewise, I wish to acknowledge individuals from abroad. Angelica Sulz from Germany, IIJB, Beverly Bronson from US, Marjolin Hoserberg from Netherlands for their assistance and continuous goodwill because that was the time when they donated books, some equipment, some uh, reference materials, so they are thanked by CJ. And, uh, old mechanism so we want to establish our own university and you all need to join your hand in the campaign of cjmc from your side communication university nepal moreover we have our members of national assembly kamal Oli, and member uh, of uh, national um, information communication yes so that they be team sina in higher level so we expect their support openly from the bottom of their heart to support CGMC to establish communication university in Nepal. And if the government does not give us permission, it is going to be launched from January onwards. Okay. Thank you so much for being with us in difficult times and for being here to celebrate on our success today. At the end, I would like to thank my son, TJ. Where are you? TJ who is the creator of the beauty of this building. He is the creator of the beauty of this building. And finally, at the end, I would like to thank my former husband, <laughs> former husband, Dr. Dinesh Acharya, for his contribution in this building. Otherwise, the building would not have been so beautiful. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you.